In this video, I will share a guide on how to install OpenIV program in Grand Theft Auto V Enhanced. I will share steps on how to install and configure OpenIV, install ASI loader files, and best methods to install mods in GTA V Enhanced Edition. First, I need you to open the official page of OpenIV and download the program from here. You will also need the 7-zip tool, which you can get from here. To use OpenIV in the Enhanced Edition, you will also need a fix file. Open this website, scroll down, and you need to download the fix file from this button. And last but not least, you will need this mods pack from here, so download that as well. And I will also share a few more resources to make your life just a little better. But for now, here are all the files I downloaded. First, we will install the OpenIV tool normally, and before we do that, you need to make sure of two things. Number one, you have a fresh install of your game, and there are no other mods. Number two, you need to uninstall your old OpenIV if you have one installed. After doing this, open the tool and select English, hit continue, and you need to accept the terms and hit continue again. From here, you can pick a spot where you want to install OpenIV, and in my case, I will leave it as default, and we will continue from here. Now OpenIV will download some files, so make sure you are connected to the internet, just like I am on my computer. Hit install, and it should start installing the tool. Also guys, if you do not have internet on your computer, you can watch this video on your screen for the OpenIV offline version. I will leave a link to it in the video description. Now that this is installed, close the setup, and I need you to open your OpenIV software. When it loads up, select Windows from here. Alright, if we select the game folder, it will show this error, and to fix this error, we will have to apply a fix file. I need you to close the OpenIV tool and go back to your downloads. We will now install 7-zip, so open it up and install this tool, which takes no time to install. Close this from here, and we will now extract the solution file. So this is the solution file which I downloaded from this website, check the link in the video description. Anyways, let's extract the file, and you need to extract this file with the help of 7-zip, exactly the way I'm doing on your screen. If it asks for a password, the password is 123. Now open the file we just extracted. I need you to put this folder to the right side of the screen, and I need you to open the game folder and place that to the left side of the screen. Here are all the locations where you can find your game folder. Let's open our fix folder, and you only need to select this file from here, then copy it and paste this file directly inside the game folder. And just like that, if we open the OpenIV tool, it will no longer show that error. And you can simply select your game folder of GTA 5 Enhanced and hit continue. A very good reminder that you should make a backup of your game before messing with it. But just like that, our OpenIV is configuring the settings and it should show the tool on your screen once it's done. Now put OpenIV to your left side of the screen as we will be installing the ASI loader files in the tool. So if we open the ASI manager section, it shows that we need three add-ons. I will explain more on what each file does, but let's install them. Now because the OpenIV tool is not up to date with GTA 5 Enhanced, we will have to install these ASI tools manually. So let's install them one by by one, and we will start with the first ASI loader file. For that, you need to go back in mods, and this is the file we need. I got this file from this page, I will leave a link to this page in the video description. Let's extract the file, and I am just using the 7-zip tool to extract this file, but you can actually use whatever you like or extract it directly. Then open the extracted folder, and these are the files we will be using. So we needed the ASI loader file, and this very first file is the ASI loader file but made for GTA 5 Enhanced. Now I will show you how to install this in a moment, but if you install this file and are facing any kind of problems, then do not worry. I will also share an alternative ASI loader file later in the video. For now, I need you to turn on your edit mode, and this will allow us to install files. Now, select this ASI loader file and drag it directly to the game main folder using OpenIV. Also guys, you will keep seeing this error message, so just ignore it completely and you will be alright. And let me show you the file we just installed. If we scroll down, here is the file we just installed. Now if we open the ASI manager, we have successfully installed the first required add-on. Now this add-on we just installed helps us run mods in the game from the mods folder, which we will create later in this video. And for now, we will now install the second file, so close the ASI manager, and just like before, we will now install this second file. Now, this file's work is to run our custom RPF mods files with the game. I will share more on how to use this tool in the next video, but for now, we will be selecting this second file and drag it to the OpenIV program. And if we scroll down, here is the file we just copied. Now, if we open the ASI manager again, we have two files that are fully installed. 
the first one and the second one. This last file you see is also an ASI plugin, and it's to modify the game's photos and videos which you see during the gameplay. You can use this mods pack to get rid of the default limits of Rockstar Editor. To install this add-on, I will make a different video, as currently the modders are still working to make a proper functional add-on. And we will now move to our next step. So we installed these two ASI files, and I want your attention on this first file, which is the actual ASI loader file. Now this file can crash on some game versions or when you use mods that are not fully compatible. So to fix that problem, we can use an alternative ASI loader, which is made by the official developer of OpenIV. Now this next section might confuse you, so be patient, and I will explain it to you in a way even a two-year-old will understand, including those who think an onion is an apple. Bruh. And for that, you need to download the script hook v file. Download the file from here. Make sure you get the latest version. So I have this mods pack already downloaded, and here is my file. First, we will extract this file and you can use 7-zip as well. Now open the folder and go to the bin folder. We will install a file from here and let me show you which file we're going to install. So in OpenIV, we will go to ASI Manager and this very first file, which is the ASI Loader file, you can install this file's latest version from Script Hook V. If we close this tool manager, this is the file in script hook v you need, and this file is also an ASI loader. Now you may ask, we already installed the ASI loader file, so why do we need this file? Well, you only need to install this file if the other ASI loader file, which we installed previously, is not working. Let's install this file and I will answer your second question. Simply select the file and drag it to your game folder, either directly or via the OpenIV tool. Here is the file we just copied into the game folder. Now there are a few more things you need to do, but there is a very important question left about ASI Loader, and that is, can we keep both ASI Loader files? If you use both ASI Loader files, the one you installed before and the one you installed from Script Hook V, then the game will only use one of the ASI Loader files, and the other will not be used automatically. But if you are facing some kind of error in your game, you can easily troubleshoot that by deleting the ASI loader files one by one and seeing which one works and which one crashes your game. I can't tell which one is good for you, as Rockstar Games is consistently updating the game way too often. Alright, now there are two more steps you need to do. Step 1. Because OpenIV does not officially support GTA 5 Enhanced, we used this solution file to fix our OpenIV error at the beginning of the video. And after you install OpenIV and do your tasks, such as installing mods or making changes to the game, you will need to remove the solution file from the game folder. But if you do that, you won't be able to use OpenIV again unless you copy the solution file again. You just need to keep the solution file on your computer somewhere and place the fix file every time you want to use OpenIV and remove it after you do your tasks. But if you are not facing any kind of problems from keeping the solution file, then you do not need to delete the file. Alright, that is one problem solved for now, and now we will do our last important step. First, open your game folder, and you need to create an empty folder, and then rename that folder as mods, all lowercase. And just like that, we now have a mods folder, fully functional and ready for us to use mods. Now, this video was part 1 of my GTA 5 Enhanced Mod series, and in part 2 of this video, I will share complete steps on how to use GTA 5 Legacy Mods in the GTA 5 Enhanced Edition. With that, you can now join my Discord server and get help directly from the GTA Wood community. All the links are in the video description. Leave a like, subscribe, and join the channel to show your support. I've got an itch I can't scratch, I'm missing a piece that completes a whole part of me, an open wound scar to see. Everybody come here, gather round, welcome to the Freak Show, the best in town.